Hey guys, good morning, evening, or afternoon. Um, right off the bat, I need to apologize for taking so long to make the content manager video. I got very sick this week. I'm still very sick, and there's no way I'm going to be able to get through a video like this. However, there are a couple things I want to show you right now that are going to make a huge difference in your life in this game. I also want to show you guys the discord server that I have here because in this section that I just created CSP and graphics I'm going to be going through today and making a beautiful layout here with a whole bunch of the stuff that I should have included in this video today and I'm gonna make the video when I feel better you guys I, I don't do this for money I don't do this for for anything except to help people out because I really have a passion for helping people and I really like to solve problems, and a lot of people have problems with this game that I can solve and help solve. So with that being said, you guys, I am going to show you a couple real quick things, and we're going to cut the video early. I'm just too sick for this stuff, man. Um, anyways, yeah, here it is. So one really annoying thing that happens with everybody is you have god rays that come up from the sun, through the clouds, into your car, they're, they're really bright, they're really annoying, and there's no actual setting in game in the configs to really change that. So what you can do is you can hit manage on your post processing filter, and hit folder down here, right? Now you're going to open up every single filter that you have here by doing that. The one that you're using, open it, hit control F, type in God Ray. Go down to God Ray and enabled one, change it to a zero. Your God Rays are now going to be completely gone and you will have a nice crisp sunny day everywhere, sunset everything, without having to deal with that annoying blinding light that nobody likes. Now another thing I want to show you guys real quick is the MIP LOD bias. So this is a level of detail thing. And what this does is if you bring this down to the negatives, you will start to get a really sharp image. And what the really sharp image is going to do is provide you a sense of texture on the roads. For example, on something like Pacific Coastal Highway or LA Canyons, you will have a lot more graininess and pebbliness and color, uh, gray, white, and black color in the roads. Whereas something on like Shitoko, you will get just a little bit more, more detail, enough to kind of see a little more road detail. Definitely worth messing around with this. This will also improve the quality of your light glare at a distance as well. This is an overall image sharpener. It can be really good. It can also be the worst thing that you ever change. Just try it out, see how it works for you. The other thing that I need to show you guys that's really important is under view and UI, you can hide your driver arm steering wheel. You can change your steering wheel limit degree to match how much your degree is in your hub software. So when you're steering in the game, it's a one-to-one -one ratio. Um, the next thing that is, is really big, uh, one of the really, really big things here is if you go to patch under controls and you have custom shaders patch enabled, you can go to buttons, hit combine with keyboard, and everything on the right column, everywhere now on the right column, is now accessible to keyboard binds. Left side is most likely usually for your normal stuff, and right side is usually for your keyboard or extra binds. Now another big thing here is your chase camera. I see so many people going, oh man, my chase camera sucks, third person's hard, chase camera's garbage, I can't do anything with it, I hate this camera. I, <laughs> I hate it too, man, I'm 100% with you guys on and all that, on the, all those complaints. However, it was until I found this that I just stopped caring. I can make my camera exactly how I want to make it, and I get two to create and customize. The only thing you have to do is you have to go to your chaser camera in custom shaders patch and you have to make sure the extension is active and the script is on basic. Now another huge thing is your lighting effects. This is 
just really really big stuff okay track speculars multiplier is the tracks lighting on Shotoko, this would be any kind of light on the side that's a, a little bit of a track light on something like a normal map these are going to be all the lights on you know the boards and the corners and all that kind of stuff and these are going to be track lights that light up the track essentially headlights on interior if you, if you have too much headlights from people behind you bothering you while you're driving off your dashboard turn this down if you want brighter headlights turn this up or down if you want wider headlights turn this up or down if you want bigger flames turn this up or down if you want more light bouncing around turn this up or down if you're getting too much light on the interior from the sun and, and from tunnels and whatever, turn bounce light interior up and down. You can enable tree lighting. This is uh, this setting here is massive. Please make sure you take off dynamic shadows unless you're running a crazy system because even with my 3070, dynamic shadows is ass. All right. So, un unfortunately, man, that's that's literally about as far as I'm going to get today in, in a video here. Um, I mostly wanted to make this video just to let you guys know that I care about you all and, you know, I am here for the community and I wanted to include my Discord here, which is in the description. We've got, you know, almost 600 members and I'm just going to be doing the CSP and graphics stuff in here for the next week or so and uh, once I get better, you guys can expect another video. So thanks for watching, like and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a good day, everybody.